Downtown business owners remain vocal since Saturday's shooting, several of them even showing up to talk with Sheriff Roundtree at the pre press conference. Our Hallie Turner sat down with Margaret Woodard to find out how they keep businesses happy while continuing to expand growth in downtown Augusta. More than 50 new businesses and 4 million people experiencing downtown Augusta in 2023 has the Development Authority hungry for more. Already two new restaurants have opened up in the last couple of weeks. We have two that are getting ready to go under construction. Um, ribbon cuttings, ground breakings are all over the calendar for the summer. So downtown is, is really doing well and our future is bright. And that's because they've kept the same goal on the menu. That's what we want. What can we do to make it seamless and make it a great place where everyone's everyone's going to want to come? Woodard says if they made it through the pandemic, they can make it through anything. And the last four years are proof. The pandemic did kind of put a hitch in things that made us all a little bit nervous. But boy, did we survive that and come out, you know, smelling like a rose, really. And the downtown menu is adding new items almost weekly. You may get a new housing announcement in the next few weeks. And then, of course, we're trying to get the Lamar building under construction and we're working on that deal as well. That would be I think 78 new market rate apartments right on Broad Street. And we've heard from so many of these local businesses since Saturday's shooting. They hope that this shooting doesn't define downtown and people will continue to show up and support them. Exactly. And we certainly want more businesses coming to downtown. We know there's so much open space down there. Absolutely. A great weekend coming up to do that.